One of the nation's premier salons, Perry Anthony Salon and Spa Network, have developed their credibility with a library of publications in consumer, editorial, and trade publications. Their photography and print work are an innovative language, commanding a response from all who see it. This design group boasts national and international awards, which has positioned them as a major force in the beauty industry. The Salon and Day Spa is located on the north side of Route 7 in the shops at Limestone Hills and is one of Pike Creek's hidden treasures. The atmosphere is second to none. Step into a contemporary and expansive decor pulsating with an energy that redefines technology and artistry while the design group fulfills your every need. Explore a unique selection of designer jewelry and accessories in the boutique. The Retail Center features a large selection of professional products and implements to support your inspired finished results. The staff of talented stylists and technicians are ambitious and motivated, developing a well-balanced prescription for your needs. Designated areas have been established to perform chemical services, skin and body treatments, nail enhancements, hair services, hair extensions, makeup applications, temporary or permanent, lash extensions, facials, and waxing. Each department completes the network of the full service salon. The nail department holds their standards in the highest regards of quality and hygiene. They offer a soothing experience with individual paraffin infusions that not only offer superior results, but also ensure complete sanitation and safety for you. Their goals are to utilize the finest quality products in order to maintain a glamorous, flawless, elegant look. The Sandy Jet Pipeless Whirlpool Pedicure Spa System is certified by the NSF International as the only completely sanitizable Whirlpool system. The validated hygienic benefits will avoid any cross-contamination and ensure a safe environment for your services. They are equipped with state-of-the-art and industry-leading products. The cosmetic department uses only the finest in paramedical grade makeup. The Jane Iridel line is the original mineral makeup that acts as a concealer, foundation, sunscreen, and shine minimizer all in one. It is the exclusive line recommended by cosmetic surgeons nationally and has been recognized by the Skin Cancer Foundation as a preventative alternative for sun protection, containing an abundance of healing qualities. This line can also be applied directly following a facial treatment. The Day Spa encourages a healthy quality of life with nurturing treatments and detoxifying agents to promote and improve your overall wellness. Addressing the effects of aging, fine lines, age spots, enlarged pores, and more is as easy as a facial with the Revitalite system. This LED photopulsation will leave your skin radiant and smooth. A back facial is performed exclusively on the back and shoulder area to promote deep pore cleansing, execute extractions, extensive exfoliation, as well as a relaxing massage followed by a soothing mask. Experience another level of relaxation with the hot lava stone massage or bamboo massage. De-stress muscles and add inner peace to your life. Seaweed Brody Wraps utilize fresh Life Alive seaweed from the coast of France to deeply cleanse, exfoliate, nourish, and draw toxins and impurities from the skin. This series is followed by a thermal body wrap to increase circulation and it finishes with a computerized deluxe shower system to complete the relaxing experience. Hollywood rocks Delaware. Glamour has never been so attainable. Swim, shower, exercise, and revel in the weightless and natural looking semi-permanent lashes that last for months with refills. Weddings, proms, anniversaries, vacations, or birthdays are all occasions for you to extend your beauty and have the ultimate accessory. All services offered by the Perry Anthony Salon and Spa Network include a complimentary consultation. Hi, I'm Perry Anthony Scarfo, President and Owner of the Perry Anthony Salon and Spa Network, and we'd like to welcome you to another edition of Beauty by Design. 
For those of you that are new to our program, I'd like to explain a little bit or give you an overview of what the program consists of. Normally, we do makeovers, three to four makeovers on each show, and the makeovers consist basically of hair and makeup. Today, just to throw a little bit of variety into the program, what we'd like to do is not only do what we normally do, which most design line changes that we do on the program are long to short. In other words, involving a haircut with the makeover. Today, what we're gonna do is do two makeovers, as we normally do, from long to short, but we're also gonna throw in, just for a little bit of variety, we're gonna throw in a uh, model that the makeover will be from short hair to long hair. And what that'll consist of is extensions. It's a uh, procedure and a uh, service that we offer here at the salon and gives you a multitude of changes that you can make with your hair, whether you are, are short, medium, and you wanna go longer. The fourth makeover today will be just a style change. We're gonna take somebody with medium length hair and just show you the options that you have if you wanna put your hair up and um, we'll also tie that up with makeup. Through the whole program, as we go through these makeovers, the final part, we'll take them to the cosmetic department and we'll apply makeup to them. And then obviously at the end of the show, you'll see each and every one of these four makeover models completed. So without further delay, let's do this. Let's go to our first stylist and our first model and see where they're at in the process. Okay, as promised, we're here with our first model, Heather, and our first stylist, Nicole. Um, I'd like to introduce Nicole since this is her debut to our show. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you, Perry. Um, I have to be honest with you, she's a little bit nervous. She's mm -hmm. never been on the TV program before, but I told her you're going to do a wonderful job. What I'd like to do at this point is, periodically through the program, we may reflect back to the before picture, specifically with Heather, because as you saw in the before picture, her hair was very, very long, uh, almost waist length. And uh, Heather is involved in theater and she needed a major change to play the part that she's gonna play in the theater program. So uh, I'm not gonna to talk too much about where Nicole is at at this point. What I'm gonna do is turn it over to her and let her explain where she's at at this point and then what she's gonna be doing going forward to complete the makeover. Nicole. Okay, <laughs> so I have taken a great amount of length off. I have used um, a razor because there is so much um, texture that needs to be done. If we did not use a razor, I would have to do this cut several times. And to save some time, you use a razor. So where I'm at at this point is we want to keep most of the length through here and we keep it short and tight through the sides and back. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty much done through there. Um, I'll finish that when it's dry. And then um, my next step is to go through the top and take more length off of the top and um, I then will do color through her top and play up the top and it'll be a fun, playful, age-appropriate pixie that she could either wear um, very smooth, sleek, or she could play it up um, like the rock star that she likes to be and <laughs> go out and just have a good time with it. Okay, very good. So, um, as an overview or a quick synopsis of what you just talked about, you've created a very soft edge all the way around by razoring it, correct? Mm -hmm. And then you have not cut the top yet. You're going to obviously cut the top and incorporate that into the rest of the haircut. Then you're going to go into the second part of the makeover, which will be the color, and okay. you're going to do more highlighting than actually color, correct? She'll be lighter? Right. Through her sides and back, we are going to keep that her natural colors, so that way when it does grow in, she doesn't have so much maintenance. Mm -hmm. And then through the top, she will have her natural color incorporated with various blondes through there, and that will give it some different texture through the top, so she can play it up even more. And um, just well, I, I, I think that's a good point, the fact that Nicole is saying through the, uh, I should say the outside edge of the haircut, not necessarily the perimeter, but you know, this uh, two inch section, and obviously in the back it's more than two inches, six inches. But basically what you're saying is if you change this color out here, as it grows out, you're gonna have a definite line of demarcation. Right. So she would kind of be, for lack of a better word, a slave to the color every four weeks, every six weeks. By keeping her natural color here, highlighting up top, um, obviously highlighting is staggered. It's a weave that we do and then, you know, just brighten up the color. But since it's a weave, you don't get a definite line of demarcation as that grows out. And it'll also give her the dynamics that she wants with the haircut. And it'll also play up, we talk about this a lot on the program, we want to play up their assets, minimize liabilities. As you can see, Heather has great eyes 
and um, beautiful skin. We haven't done anything makeup wise yet, no foundation, um, basically no makeup whatsoever. But by doing the highlight up here, I'm sure Nicole, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's probably going to make it a little more dynamic around the eyes. Again, to play up her assets, uh, she really doesn't have any liabilities. I mean, she's a beautiful girl. But that'll give her the option to continue to highlight it up top. Again, since it's a weave and there's not a definite line of demarcation of that growing out, she can always go back if she wants to go back to be totally natural. It'll be kind of a smooth and graceful transition. And um, she'll still get the finished results that she wants. Is that correct? Correct. All right. All right. Thank you, uh, Nicole. You did very great for your debut. Yeah. <laughs> and let's now, let's move along to our second stylist and our second makeover model. All right, as promised, we're here with our second uh, stylist, Samantha, and our second model, Leslie. And again, this is Samantha's first TV show, so I'd like to welcome Samantha to the program. Welcome, Samantha. Thank you. And as you can see, um, again, we'll reflect back to the before pictures periodically through the show, but I know Leslie came in, as far as I can remember, we have four or five models here today, she was blonde. And obviously you can see that Sam has already done a color service, but I do not think this color service is complete. She'll be doing a second uh, color service, and then she'll be going in and changing the design line a little bit. But what I want to do now is turn it over to Samantha and let her talk a little bit about what she's done so far, which obviously is a single color process, and then uh, B, what you'll be doing as your second color service, and C, what we'll be doing to change the design line. All right, so what we did, she was blonde before, so we just went in and darkened it up, make it a little chocolatey, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and put some highlights around the face, make it kind of pop, a little ombre balayage technique going on, mm -hmm. and as for the haircut, what we're going to do is just kind of leave, you know, clean up what's going on around here, mm -hmm. and what I'm really going for is kind of a texture look, real messy and... Just a lot of movement and um, exaggeration going on inside. So basically, um, again, I'll give a quick overview. You're going to keep the perimeter pretty close to what it is, mm -hmm. correct? So most of the design line change is going to be in the interior, not so much on the exterior. You're going to go in, texturize it, so again, she can do either. She can wear it messy and PC, as you said, or she can still blow it smooth and have the option to do either. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I don't want to hold Sam up. She has to go back and do the second uh, color uh, change or second part of the makeover and then uh, we'll visit her again during the design line change. Let's go move along now to our third model. And now moving right along we're here with our third uh, stylist and also our third model Kristen. Our third stylist is Lorraine and again this is Lorraine's debut on the program. Lorraine I'd like to welcome you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this is a little different. As I talked in the beginning of the program, the fact that normally our design line changes and our makeovers are from long to short because they usually incorporate some type of haircut. This is the total opposite. We're going from, I would say, medium length hair to longer. She's not going to be extremely long. She's not going to end up like Rapunzel, but she's definitely going to have uh, more length to this. But I wanted to bring her up while uh, Lorraine was in the middle of this process. And as you can see, I'm holding two bundles of hair here. Uh, and I think Lorraine will explain why I'm holding two different bundles of hair. They're different colors, and she'll explain uh, why that is and how she's going to apply these to make sure it looks natural. But Lorraine, I'm going to ask you this. One, what have you done to her color, if anything, before you started the extension process? And two, what will you be doing to complete the extension process? And three, how will you blend this? Because if I turn her, if I turn Kristen real slowly here, you'll see obviously that Lorraine has added some of these extensions and she'll explain how they're attached and obviously you can see there's a major line of demarcation between her natural hair and the extensions so I'm going to let Lorraine explain again what she's done with her color two where she's at in the extension process and three how we'll make this all work together so number one color have you done anything yes uh, so Kristen um, I highlighted Kristen's hair uh, she's a, uh, a brown, like a medium dark brown. She likes to have highlights and lowlights put in there. So um, Kristen is busy. She has uh, twin six-month-old girls and a two-year-old son. And Kristen is now home. She just left her job in the corporate world. Um, she had a very short stacked bob, as you can see. Um, and now she would like to keep it simple. Just have her long, she wants her long hair back. So what I'm doing is applying, um, this is Remy hair. It's um, all natural hair and these are extensions. They take a little bit of time for me to put in, but 
once they're in, they're going to last about um, four to six months. And the Great. look that we're going to do, let me turn the chair. Um, it's going to hurt Kristen's hair. This w this does look, it's a little hard at the moment, but as I um, put the hair in, we'll add more hair up here. And then with the cut, let it all through. But when the, the finished look, Kristen's hair will probably be, like this is pretty long. It looks a little silly right now, but it'll probably be like right around here. And then life will be a little bit easier for Kristen at home. She can get out of the shower. She can pull it back in a ponytail or let it dry naturally. And off she goes to take care of her kids. And she'll still be able to do anything else she would do with uh, her natural yeah, hair. Yeah, absolutely. Blow dry you it. can swim in, in chlorine. You can blow it dry. You can curl it. Curl you it. can straighten hot it with the hot rollers. No limitations. No limitations. Okay. Once they're in, it, yeah, then they're in. Now, I know this sounds kind of silly, but you're putting two different color hair I, I actually in. have three different colors. But okay. right now, the hardest part is the back because the back is stacked. She had a short bob, so mm -hmm. I need to be applying a lot of extensions back here. And then once they're in, these colors will actually blend. Right now, it's like, oh my God, that's like blonde and that's like dark, but it'll work out. As a finish look. Yeah. So the whole yeah, objective is out. give so her longer I have hair. More darker, and then there's a, a third shade of blonde. Because Very good. Kristen, we have highlights and lowlights in her hair, so. All right. Just, yeah. This is a fairly lengthy process, and thank you, uh, Lorraine, for your information, and Kristen, thank you. But I'm going to let Lorraine go back into the styling area and complete uh, Kristen's look, and then we may come back to her as she's cutting her hair and, you know, just showing how to blend it so and so forth. But I think you'll be amazed as a finished look, and also uh, you'll be amazed how many options those of you out there that have short to medium length hair maybe you want to do something longer and as Lorraine said it'll last four to six months and then you come in and then what you just tune it up kind of? Uh, <laughs> yeah then we, we take them out and then we reapply. Okay mm -hmm. sounds good all right we're gonna move along to our fourth and final makeover model thanks. We're here with our fourth uh, stylist Dita and our fourth model Brianna and I want to welcome Dita to the show welcome Dita. Hi Perry thank you. And I will, I do want to uh, just kind of talk about this a little bit. Dita is one of our top styles here at the salon, but she's also one of our makeup artists. So she's multifaceted, multi-talented, and uh, she'll be doing not only Brianna's hair today, she'll also be doing her makeup. And as you can see, she's in the process of, you know, just beginning her makeup. It's not even close to finished, but, you know, obviously on the program, we always show you a finished look. But what I want to do at this point, we had talked earlier in the program that this is not a design line change either way. It's not going shorter, it's not going longer, no extensions, no haircut involved. What we're going to do here is she's going to do a total style change. So I'm going to kind of turn it over to Dita now and just explain what she's done. I think this is kind of like a foundation, correct, for the second look. You know, obviously taking her longer, straighter hair and creating a formal or some, um, somewhat of an updo. So Dita, without further ado, let me turn it over to you and you explain uh, what she came in, how she came in, uh, Brianna and what you've done to this point and what you'll be doing to complete it. Sure. So we really just shampooed uh, to begin with, with a volumizing and a moisturizing uh, combination of shampoo and conditioner. So what our main goal is to do a one step, or I should say two step, updo, upstyle, whatever you want to call it, but only blow drying it. So we're blow drying into an upstyle without using any flat irons or curling irons or such. So we can just blow dry, curly, set, once it's all done, brush it out and just finish into shaping it, whatever shape it is that you are. So essentially, for. essentially what you're doing is setting her hair with a blow dry. Correct. And a round brush. Yeah. And you're gonna so demonstrate a little bit. Basically it's it's really, really simple as long as you keep your sections clean. So we just place a round brush comb it out so it doesn't tangle. This is how it's not going to get stuck in the hair. And then roll it into the base. And then we'll get a blow dryer. We'll heat it up. We're just going to demonstrate so we're not going to actually turn it on. So we're going to heat up at the base and then we're going to keep rolling out so we get all even distribution of the heat. Go all the way to the end and then give it a little cool shot so it sets. Or you can just simply take the blow dryer away, let it sit for a second. All right, well, you know, one of the important things you just mentioned is you said give it a cool shot. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is it's almost like a hot roller. You put a hot roller in, pull it out while it's still hot, you get no set. You put the hot roller in, let it cool, you get curl. Same Same thing with the blow dry. You wrap it up, Correct. you heat it up, hit it with a cool shot, let it cool down so it locks in the curl. And then once you pull the brush out, I can see now you're demonstrating, then you just roll it up, pin it. Correct? Or I'll let you explain. 
Yep, very simple. Just roll it and pin it. Actually, the hair will go by itself depending on the size of the brush you use. So the curl will form itself around your finger and you just form it. So when we're heating, if you think about it, when we're heating something, we're expanding the cuticle. So we and so we're changing the shape of it by curling it. And then when we're cooling it in that shape, that's where we get the curl. And if we really just do it with the blow dry, we'll get the most volume. At the same time, a little more longevity in the process of the actual hairstyle throughout the time, the day, the night, however long she wants to be out. Very good. Okay, we're going to send uh, Dita back to the styling area. As you can see, she hasn't completely set Brianna. The makeup. Um, but anyway, she'll be completing that set in the back. And then you want to talk about her makeup a little bit now? Yeah, really okay. quickly, I wanted to mention that we are going for a little bit of a stronger photo uh, photo shoot type of uh, look today. So we're doing a little bit of heavier contouring, highlighting, um, a more stage-like. But it will be a crisp, clear finish especially for brides that are going to get those once-in-a-lifetime photos. So this Great. will be one of those times. Super. When you say contouring, again, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, thank God we have some incredibly talented makeup artists here. But when you say contouring, is that what I see here, exactly. where I see the darker shades? That's yep. part of the contouring? Yep, exactly. So we're going to accentuate some pieces. We're going to so include shapes in her face. You know, we all have different shapes or whatever. So we're going to accentuate a little bit of the brightness right around the middle of the face so the eyes really pop out. The rest of it gets low light, high light, depending on where we see fit. Sounds beautiful. All right, okay. we're going to send Dita back and then we'll be back with you soon with our first model. All right, now we're here with our first completed makeover model and we want to thank all of our viewing audience for, you know, just sticking with us for the last 20, 28 minutes. I know the most dramatic thing, or I should say the most desirable thing to see is a finished model, you know, when the makeover is completed. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point, though, is I'm going to talk to, uh, I'm not going to talk to, I'm going to turn it over to Nicole. Nicole did both Heather's hair and her makeup, and you'll see as we reflect back to the before picture, when Heather came in, her hair was very, very long. This was an incredibly dramatic makeover and an incredibly dramatic change, and I think Heather's happy with it. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Nicole now, and Nicole, you want to talk a little bit about how you completed the look. Last time we talked, uh, you know, her highlights weren't complete at that point. So talk a little bit how you completed the color with the highlights and also how you completed the entire look with her makeup. Okay, so what we did with her color and highlights, we took two different color blondes, uh, a high lip color blonde and a light blonde, and we did very bold um, streaks of it so that way it would turn up. She has very dense and thick hair. So if we didn't do it that way, you would not be able to see it if it was subtle. Mm -hmm. um, how we finished it off, we just blew it rough, blew, rough dry it with the blow dryer. Then we used pomade to fix it in any direction we want it. We used some hairspray, lift it up a little. Um, and for her makeup, her best feature are her eyes. She has gorgeous eyes. Um, she has great bone structure and everything, so we contoured her cheeks and kept all the colors with her makeup neutral and very subtle opposed to her eyes they are played up big time beautiful incredible job Thank um, you very much. those of you out there um, obviously don't realize you're not stylists uh, realize what a difficult and challenging change it is to take somebody with you know almost waist length hair and change it to this and still execute it properly and also come out with a great finished look which i think is more complimentary to heather than actually the long hair um, great job. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. And let's do this now. Let's move along to our second completed makeover model. Now moving forward with here with our second stylist, Sam, and also our second model, Leslie. And uh, what I'm going to do is let Sam talk a little bit about what she's done to complete Leslie. Obviously, we'll always reflect back to the before picture. And now Sam can talk a little bit about how she finished Leslie. And then Sam's going to turn it over to Flavio. Flavia, who is one of our uh, international award-winning stylists and makeup artists, and Flavia will talk a little bit about what she did to complete the look as far as the uh, makeup application goes. Sam? So what we did with the color, obviously she was blonde. We went dark, and then I went through and popped a few foils in, a little balayage technique and the ombre, just to give it a little softer look so it's not all solid and not one color, just, just to... Give it a little variation. Yeah, give it a little variation. A little dimension. Yeah. Looks fantastic, Sam. Thank you. 
Very, very, very nice. And Flav, I'm going to turn her forward so our viewing audience can see her makeup. And Flav, you want to talk about how you kind of completed the look with the um, makeup? Sure. Thank you, Perry. Um, well, when you're going from a transition from a blonde to a dark or any color transition that's really huge like that, you really do have to make adjustments with your makeup. So because of her lifestyle, she's actually a teacher. She's very active. She's doing a lot of activities. Um, we decided to keep it looking very natural and very, very clean. And we just added a little bit more color to her cheeks as well as her lips. Her eyes are just kept very, very natural looking with some very subtle uh, liner, nothing overwhelming. Um, and just add a little bit of flush. We actually um, gave her some extensions on her eyelashes. Very good. Just for fun. Looks okay. fantastic. All right, thank you, Flavian. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. And let's now move along to our next uh, completed makeover model. All right, now we're here with our third makeover model, Kristen, and also our third stylist, Lorraine. And uh, not to delay, I'm going to turn it over to Lorraine to talk about, uh, this is one of our more dramatic makeovers today. But anyway, I'm going to let Lorraine talk a little bit about what she did with the extensions. And then Nicole's going to talk how she, you know, completed the makeover with the makeup and in the cosmetic department. Lorraine. Okay, thank you, Barry. So uh, this is... Uh, as you've seen earlier, Kristen, but now Kristen has her long hair. We started with a very short stack of her natural hair. Um, we, I've added the extensions and they should last six months for four to six months for Kristen. And she's going to hopefully make her life easier with her children and staying at home. And create more options. Yeah. Pull her hair in a ponytail, wear it down. Many variables, and have, are you happy and have with, fun it? with it? I am. Right. <laughs> All right, um, Nicole, do you want to talk a little bit um, how you kind of completed the makeover with the uh, cosmetics or the makeup? Uh, yes, we kept it very natural and subtle. She is a very busy mom, so uh, it's just something that she can do at home very easily, very quick, and it's very neutral, but then again, dramatic at the same time. Very good. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Lorraine. More importantly, thank you, Kristen. <laughs> thank you. Um, great makeover, and let's move along to our next makeover model. And now to complete the program, we're here with our four stylists and fourth model. Uh, Dita, obviously the stylist, and Brianna, our model. And uh, before I uh, close out the show, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Dita, and she's going to talk to you since Dita did both the hair and the makeup. I'm going to turn it over to Dita and let her talk to you a little bit about how she completed this entire makeover. Dita? Thank you, Barry. Um, so as we discussed earlier, we just did a blow dry updo style to um, eliminate one process of a hot tool. So we only blow, blow dried it, curly, set it in that way. And if you can, I'll turn around really quick. If you can take a look. It doesn't really show too much of any difference within an updo style that we normally get with a curling iron. So it's pretty much looks the same, so you can achieve it with a blow dry. Um, we're also preserving color brilliance at the same time by not using a hot tool directly on so much, especially on the redheads, mm -hmm. directly Great point. on that cuticle, yes. So pretty much just wanted to go with a looser shape, a little bit of a pin-up feel, but not too much. She's still young, wants to have a little bit of crazy fun anyway, not too much. Very good. Magnificent job. Hair looks wonderful. Thank makeup you. looks wonderful. And Dita did talk earlier how she was going to get a little more aggressive with her makeup. You know, obviously, because it's a formal style and, you know, she's very, fairly youthful. But um, it, it turned out magnificent. Thank you, Dita. Thank, thank you, Brianna. You. And more importantly, thank all of you for joining us for the last 28 to 30 minutes as we try to do our part to make the world, you know, a little bit more beautiful place, one client at a time. Thank you. Thank you.